What up guys, and welcome to Everlast, your digital afterlife. Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty great. When you die in the near future, you'll be sent to Everlast, your digital afterlife. Let's go. Let's go and explore this, alright. Mind backup, Coolio McDools, connecting, loading, awesomeness, greatness. Let's go. Oh. Plum. Yes, Everlast. Live your best afterlife. Also, your only one. Hello, hello. Is anyone there? Oh, hi. If you can hi. see me, it means that your consciousness has been at least twenty-five percent uploaded. Twenty-five. All right. Am I dead? Where's the other seventy-five percent of me? It's safely stored on a massive, distributed computing cluster owned by Everlast. Don't worry. The rest of you is uploading as we speak. Oh. Okay. Uh, who are you? I'm here to help you cross over. Cross over. In ancient cultures, I might have been called a psychopomp. That's a little grandiose for my tastes. Uh. I like to think of myself as a combination of greeter, check-in clerk, and onboarding technician. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty good, not gonna lie. Alright, am I dead? If you're talking about your physical body, then yes. Oh. Your cognitive processes are no longer running on wetware. Wait, but we've where? modeled okay. all your neural connections as bits of code that's currently running on silicon and metal. Oh, that sounds great. How did I die? You were doing whippets inside a bouncy castle when you lost your balance and fell. Oh. The fall broke your neck, killing you instantly. Oh, okay, well, at Here least that wasn't in pain. You'll never sustain that kind of injury again, unless you're into that sort of thing, in which case you can simulate death and be reborn as many times as you wish. Oh, okay. That would probably have some psychological pro um, th th things that happen to you if you just simulated death over and over again. But all right, well, this place, where in it is so bare? This is just the lobby. Oh, okay. Once we sign you up for one of our digital afterlife membership plans, you'll have access to hundreds of worlds crafted for your enjoyment. Every aspect of your biology will be faithfully reproduced and infinitely customizable. You'll be able to taste every note in a glass of perfectly aged wine, while a hangover will be optional. Oh, that sounds great. You will be perfectly recreated with as many, you know, changes as you want, so... Probably not perfectly recreated, but okay. What kind of, of plans are available? We offer three Basic, afterlife premium, membership elite. tiers. Basic, Premium, and Elite. Your tier eligibility is based on your afterlife participation readiness score. Okay. What is my score? My, uh, what score? It's a trustworthiness score that determines what kinds of spaces you'll be able to enter and what kinds of privileges we can grant to your account. We can okay. run the score in one of two ways. Based on your past behavior in digital spaces or based on your internet search history. Do you have a preference? Um, how do you have all this data? One of the most wonderful things about your digital afterlife here at mm. Everlast is that you'll always be surrounded with media that's tailored to your interests. Oh, great. Our goal Just is like to make life. you feel seen. In building out this media-rich environment for mm -hmm. you, we worked closely with several partners whose services you relied on heavily back when you were mortal. Oh. These partners can't wait to continue serving you here on the other side. Oh, okay, so Google is also here and everyone else is here. So they will mine data even in, when I'm dead. Well, I don't really care. Use my online behavior. Our records indicate that during the course of your lifetime, you made 3,201 internet shitposts, ignored 522 software updates, oh. used your ex's Netflix password for nine years, signed up for the same free trial using multiple email addresses on 18 occasions, and used an ad blocker on 82% of the sites you visited. Regrettably, these behaviors resulted in a score too low for acceptance into our premium and elite plans. Oh. It is therefore my pleasure to offer you our basic tier uh, okay <laughs> okay I mean some of those things are true but okay but doesn't everyone do these kinds of 
searches. All right, how basic is the basic tier? The basic tier is subsidized by our corporate partners. Mm -hmm. Thanks to their generous contribution, we're able to offer you perpetual afterlife access free of charge. In exchange, we require that you submit to some minor adjustments to your psychographic profile, messaging settings, and emotional range. Okay. My emotional range? I don't really care about messaging, but emotional range? While premium and elite members live on servers belonging to Everlast, our basic members will be running on the servers of corporate sponsors. Oh. In your case, that sponsor is Uber. It's Uber? Complex emotions are the most computationally expensive part of your model for them to run. For this reason, at times when Uber requires more computing resources, for example, during bad weather or rush hour, <laughs> bad weather. you may experience a temporary shutdown of your emotional faculties. During these periods, um, you may be assigned to assist Uber in route planning, vehicle operation, or customer service. That sounds terrible. That sounds like I'm a freaking slave. And my emotional will sit down. Okay, well, what about my messaging? We offer our customers a channel to your loved ones who have not yet passed. Oh. Our basic customers are limited to 25 messages per month, 25. 140 characters per message, and an overall vocabulary of 500 words to choose from. Messages must adhere to our code of conduct, okay. which forbids sexual content, profanity, and negative assessments of Everlast. Yes, you of course. You may unlock new words you can use by endorsing our corporate partners in your messages. Oh. For every endorsement, 15 new words will be added to your vocabulary. This sounds like a terrible afterlife. This sounds like hell. All right. Yes. Already, at merely 25% uploaded, we're seeing some very strong patterns come through in your data okay. that are taking up significant resource. In particular, your love for your mother, oh. your first teacher, and your best friend. My first teacher. In order to run you cost-effectively okay. on our basic tier, we're going to have to perform a search and replace function to swap your love for one of those people with love for one of our esteemed partners, Carl oh. Jr. Who shall we overwrite? Carl Jr.? Um, not my mother or my best friend, but I don't want to have... Like, here's the thing, when they overwrite this, I will never remember the other love, and that way they can completely control me. This is inhumane. If you refuse to participate in the psychographic calibration, I am authorized to swap out all three of these people for three of our brands. Oh. Trust me, you don't want that. No, I don't. So please, make your choice. That sounds really bad. That sounds really bad to- alright, my teacher. I know that must have been a difficult choice. Not really. On the plus side, Carl's Jr. is thrilled to have you as part of their family. Oh, great. To welcome you, they've transferred one big Carl cheeseburger over to your inventory. Thanks, Carl. Before we Carl's. exit the psychographic calibration, we need to make another adjustment. Mm -hmm. It seems that your love for the remaining two people is taking up just a little bit too much storage space oh. in the basic tier. Of I'm course. going to have to ask you to choose one more person whom we'll replace with another one of our valued partners, Lockheed Martin. Please make your selection. What? Um... The, uh, but... I mean... I like my friends, not gonna lie. Your psychographic preferences have been updated. Oh, fuck. You might experience you. a temporary feeling of having misplaced an important keepsake. Yeah. Don't try to figure out what you've lost. That will only make the pain worse. Oh, no. Instead, think of all the wonderful ways that you can support the brands that matter to you. The more shareholder value your oh. favorite brands create, the more they can invest in loving you back. Oh, yes, of course they will love me back, yeah. Sure. I can't live like this. Shut me down. The basic plan is hell. Is there any way out of it? You bet. We're here to empower all our customers in living their best afterlife by giving them the opportunity to earn credits that can be traded in for upgrades. Oh. So afterlife is just like normal life. You have to work. <laughs> you have to work all the time. All right. What kind of jobs are available? In the past, there were quite a few jobs to choose from. 
drone guidance, bot farming, content censorship, and DDoS swarming were some of the exciting and DDoS fulfilling swarm. roles we had to offer. It's been harder recently. We AI keep losing our jobs to living humans. Oh. But there just happens to be one opening in my department. Would you be interested in being a greeter, like me? Um... How long will it take before I can upgrade? Let's see. You need 200,000 credits in order to upgrade to the premium. Oh, and I had 3,000. And earning that should take about 83 years. 80. But don't worry. Time works differently here. You'll see what I mean. It works differently, guys. Is it slower or faster? <laughs> what does it entail? It's sacred work. You get to usher people through a liminal space. You help them to make the right choices and to let go of what no longer serves them. Oh, and like... the best part is you get to earn commission on their customer after lifetime value in perpetuity. And it's easy. All you have to do is read from a script. Okay, I, well, I suppose I don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, well, that sounds terrible. It's been a pleasure serving you. I look forward to seeing you around at the office. Your first customer will be joining you shortly. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. What is this place? Hi. This is... You are in a massive destroyed computer cluster. You've been uploaded to Everlast. Why can't I remember what happened? Some types of cognitive processing, such as goal setting, attention, and impulse control, might be missing certain modules. But don't worry, you won't need those where you're going. Oh. That sounds terrible, guys. I became one of the bad ones. Don't go to Everlast. <laughs> it doesn't sound like an afterlife. It sounds like an after hell. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.